Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be taking you through your tumble dryer's various settings and showing you how to use them. Understanding and knowing your tumble dryer's various features and controls is vital to get the most out of your appliance and to use it as efficiently as possible. Before we begin, I'll just mention that I'll be using a Hoover tumble dryer for this guide. This is also a condenser style tumble dryer which gathers the moisture from your laundry in a water tray inside the appliance. This is different to a vented tumble dryer, which vents the water outside your home through a hose. While the controls and features are generally similar on most tumble dryers, some makes and models can feature some variations. Now, if you're confused by any differences or controls that don't appear in this video, then you can always refer to your user manual. And don't worry if you no longer have your user manual, we'll include a link in the description below to our online user manual finder. Now, let's take a look. Let's start with the program selector knob. As indicated in the name, this knob allows you to select the program on the tumble dryer and how long you want the cycle to run for. To select any of these choices, Turn the knob to the desired selection before starting a cycle. On this particular tumble dryer, this ranges from bone dry for bath towels and bath robes to cupboard dry for items that will be put away without ironing and so on. Now let's move on to these five buttons that are underneath the electronic display screen here. We'll start from right to left and we'll begin with the on off button which is self-explanatory. Press this button to turn your dryer on and the indicator above the button will light up. Then the display screen above will show you whichever program you have selected. To turn your tumble dryer off again, simply press the button again. Next in line, we have the acrylic synthetic feature. This is for reducing the heat level whenever you're drying synthetics, acrylics, or any other delicate items you don't want to suffer heat damage. When you press this button, the light above will light up to show that the tumble dryer is in a low heat setting. To turn this feature off and return your dryer back to a high heat setting, press the button again. The light will turn off to indicate that the dryer is no longer in low heat mode. Now we have the start pause button. This is another one that's fairly self-explanatory. Simply press the button to start whichever cycle you have selected and press the button again to pause the cycle. Moving on, this is the no buzzer button. When your tumble dryer completes a cycle, the buzzer will sound for about 10 seconds while the display screen shows zero. This is to let you know that the cycle has finished. If you leave the tumble dryer without opening and emptying it after a cycle has finished, the buzzer will also continue to sound as the dryer rotates intermittently to minimize creasing. If you don't want the buzzer to sound for any reason, press the no buzzer button. The light above the button will then light up. Indicating that the buzzer has been switched off. To switch the buzzer back on, press the button again and the no buzzer light will switch back off. Next up, we have the delay start button. This feature will let you delay the start of a drying cycle, allowing you to choose the least disruptive time to have your dryer running in advance. Pressing the button will delay a cycle by one hour, with the delay time showing up on the display screen. You can increase this delay time by pressing the button again, which will add an extra hour with every press. Now this tumble dryer here, for example, can have a cycle delayed by up to 23 hours, but other tumble dryers may vary. These indicators above the delay start function relate directly to the button we just went through, and they will simply flash when a delayed cycle finally starts to run. Now let's take a look at the filter care indicator which on this machine is on the top right of the electronic display. Now when the filter care indicator lights up, it means it's time to clean your filter. This happens when the filter gets too clogged up with fluff and lint from your laundry, and so it means it needs to be cleaned 
in order to be able to keep doing its job correctly. Cleaning your filter is just one of the necessary steps you need to take in order to maintain your tumble dryer and make sure that it works efficiently and optimally. Now, to learn how to clean your filter and to clean your tumble dryer generally, check out our video here, how to clean your tumble dryer. Next, we have the empty water indicator. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, Condenser tumble dryers gather water from your wet laundry during a drying cycle and store it in the water container tray. When this tray gets full and needs emptying, the empty water indicator will light up. Of course, if you have a vented tumble dryer, there won't be a tray and this step won't be necessary. To remove and empty the water tray, simply pull it out with both hands to avoid any spillages and then turn it to empty it over the sink. Once it's completely empty, put it back in the machine. Now on this appliance, it's located at the top left. On your model, it may be in a different place. Uh, it's worth pointing out that as soon as the empty water light lights up, do empty the tray as you don't want any spillages inside the machine. Then there's the time to end indicator. This indicator will light up while your tumble dryer is running and will stay on for the duration of a cycle. Whilst the time to end indicator is lit, the display screen will also show how much time is left on a cycle. Once the cycle ends, the time to end indicator will switch off again. Finally, we have the two digit digital display. As covered throughout this guide, the display screen will show either the number of hours a cycle is delayed by when you select the delay start function or how many minutes are left until the end of a cycle. However, if your tumble dryer runs into a problem, the display may also show an error code to let you know what the issue is. These codes can be different for different tumble dryer makes and models. So you will need to either refer to your dryer's manual to see if you can fix the error yourself or visit the manufacturer's website for further guidance. So there we have it, a complete guide to your tumble dryer's settings and how to use them. Hopefully you now feel comfortable operating your tumble dryer and its many features. However, it's not just knowing your tumble dryer's settings and features that's important. You also need to how to operate it safely. And you can find out how to do that in our video below, important safety checks for your tumble dryer. Before you go, remember to subscribe to our channel for more appliance advice, repair tutorials and how-to videos and all things e-spares. Thanks for watching.